Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Alexey Grakovka, owner of Iron IP, and in this video I'm going to tell you how to create app and make money. So uh, I think you know that there are already 5 million apps in all the stores, in Google Play, in uh, Apple App Store, so there are already 5 million apps. So and uh, anyway, the market is still growing and uh, analysts uh, say that by 2020 the total revenue of mobile apps will be uh, 189 billion dollars. So that's why there is big interest in building mobile apps. But uh, I want to uh, warn you that uh, very few people actually earn money. It's really difficult to create app and make money. And in this video, I'm going to sh share with you some tips and tricks how to make a successful mobile app and earn money. So in this video, I'm not talking about how to build a mobile app. I already did that in uh, two videos, how to create a social media app and a dating app. So you can see uh, these videos in below. The comments would be links to this video. So uh, I will talk about strategies and tips and tricks and uh, uh, customer journey, how to create and monetize your mobile app. Okay, there are uh, two main categories of mobile apps. is free and uh, paid apps. So, uh, and the latest trends is that uh, all the apps are free. So uh, this model is called freemium model and owners of the apps they earn money on by selling subscription or in-app purchases. Like a decade ago, it was possible to earn money just selling your app because uh, apps were, there were not so many apps and uh, it was something unique and it was not so uh, well known and uh, people used to buy apps. So now people tend to just download, try and if they like, they buy. So this is the main trend and uh, that you should think about uh, all the mo popular modern apps, they are freemium. So uh, this is what we advise you to do. There are two main strategies uh, how to create a mobile app. Uh, so either you create something unique or you create something better than the others. So uh, if we take the first approach, it will be something unique. So uh, it's quite risky. So you don't know how it will work and uh, you build something uh, unique, so your investors don't trust you and the um, users don't understand what it is, so it's a very risky approach. But anyway, it can also work and, uh, well, you should try if you have enough budget, so there's no problem. So, uh, as for the second approach, build something better than the others or build the best, so it can be also a winning approach if you know what's on the market, you make a research and uh, you an did an investigation through popular uh, uh, mobile app categories, uh, entertainment, business, games, and whatever, or food and drink, or, or what your uh, app would be in which category. So, and you did that investigation, and uh, you have a plan, you have the features, and so on, so on, and uh, you know the audience that would be using, and some killer features that would be uh, very important for your audience. So, if you're sure that these features are really important, so you can build, and it means that. Uh, you would build uh, the best app in the your category. Or maybe you would use some uh, artificial intelligence or neural networks uh, to provide a really outstanding experience or uh, you um, combine a lot of data and do some investigation out of the data and uh, something like that. So uh, there is <coughs> this is a second approach. Yes, there are two main uh, techniques of monetization. It is a subscription-based model and uh, uh, in-app purchases. So uh, there is, it's a really good time now to start a subscription-based model in uh, mobile apps because uh, to unsubscribe, it is uh, very difficult for any user. Uh, even in the Apple store, a user has to write to support and tell the support, please unsubscribe me from the app. So there is no good, uh, easy way to unsubscribe from subscription. So uh, all developers who know that, they launch their apps and subscribe many users and it's very difficult to unsubscribe and you have to write to support many many times and well it's actually not a, not a good approach from Apple but uh, anyway it works now and if you subscribe many users you have a really big you can have a really big revenue monthly or each three months six months whatever so in a purchases in a purchases if you sell uh, something to your users inside your app like you have content you have something like actually something some paid materials inside your app. Many ways, like in games can be gold, credits, uh, units, whatever. 
Okay, let's talk about marketing. So it is very uh, complicated now to market your app because there are 5 million apps on the App Store and uh, uh, there are already many players on that market. And it means that if you launch your app uh, in a popular category, there is already many players, many traffic, and the traffic is uh, uh, going, uh, the price of the traffic is going high and high every year or maybe even, even months, every month. So uh, it means that uh, you will have high cost of marketing and it is really uh, an art to uh, make user acquisition and make it make profitable user acquisition because it's very easy to spend or just waste thousands of dollars uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, on marketing and you just don't get it back uh, so uh, you have to have uh, your unit economy in place so if you spend uh, one dollar you should uh, get like one dollar ten cents back or one dollar ten cents back in uh, three months. You should know that period. Uh, so, and uh, the problem of marketing is that you uh, have too many channels, and until you test all the channels, you don't know what really works. So, you need to have a lot of experience, and that's why better to have a professional user acquisition specialist who will advise you which channels to would be best for your audience. So. Uh, this is really important. After you did all the tests and experience, you probably would know. And of course, if you have a community for your app where you could promote your app, it's, uh, it's very, very good. And uh, if you can build your that community fast, it's really, uh, would be really helpful. Basically, I, I can tell you a, a, a simple way how to launch a Facebook campaign. Just, just a moment. Okay, let's have a look at that sample uh, Facebook ad campaign. So. Uh, for example, you want to bring uh, more registrations to a mobile app and you launch a campaign. So we advise you to create several banners or several campaigns like four, three, five, ten, uh, how many you want. So uh, you created many campaigns and you uh, put some budget to each campaign. And it should be uh, basically the same budget, like 100, 200, 1000 dollars. It depends on your budget and your <coughs> possibilities. Uh, so. Uh, you launch campaigns and after each campaign you analyze it and see what is the percentage of users who registered eventually in your app. And so are you, among those campaigns you have to find one top performing campaign. And if that campaign is top performing uh, and it's uh, good enough for you, so you stop all other campaigns and you start writing your campaign with that one. So you spend all the budget on that campaign and stop losing money on those campaigns because they are not effective. So this is the main approach that you can use in launching your, uh, your mobile app. Okay, glad you now have some users on your mobile app. So somebody is using your app, it's cool. So, uh, and uh, you should have thought about a customer journey. Customer journey is how users behave inside your app and what, what's, uh, what's going to be when a user registers. So there is first screen, second screen, third screen and uh, you should understand how user would use the app and where it's the best way to offer to buy your app. And not only where but also when, uh, how much time should, be, should pass after, uh, before you advise uh, something. Uh, some promotion or trying to sell something or trying to sell a subscription. So uh, you should uh, think about the customer journey. What kind of notifications would be in the app? Which notifications when? Uh, would, would this notification depend on time, age, and gear position and so on. So uh, you should take good thought and a good overview of what going to be in your app. So uh, if you're talking about subscription model, so you have to think about new uh, new subscriptions or new users who haven't subscribed yet what so you should have some messages to that user base so after they subscribed so uh, there should be some extra messages and uh, you also should think about how to rebuild the users how to remind them that they should pay or well actually if they subscribe with the card so you don't have to remind so it's just the reviews will be done automatically so this is uh, really awesome so, but uh, anyway, uh, uh, well, if you would unsubscribe, you should also think about the user who unsubscribe and you should uh, uh, have some activation campaigns for inactive users in order to bring them back because there is churn rate in every mobile app, so you should take uh, care about that. So, if we're talking in-app purchases, so for in-app purchases, you also 
have to understand when, where, and uh, uh, how you are going to pro um, provide users some promotions. So what would be some promotions, discounts, or uh, you will offer some rare units or, or something unique. Uh, uh, you should uh, write a map and understand what, where happens and which notifications you should send and uh, not to duplicate the messages. So if a user sees the same message uh, many times, so he gets rid of it. So it's just pissing him out. So. Uh, Mm, you should really consider that approach to build a customer journey for your uh, mobile app and when you build a customer journey you build all these messages, notifications, reminders, promotions and when uh, you will analyze how users go from screen to screen you will see the bottlenecks, the bottlenecks uh, where people stop using or where people get out and they just stop using app or they don't buy so maybe it's a matter of pricing maybe a matter of value maybe someone else maybe they don't like something maybe it's too early so you understand the bottlenecks and you will be able to uh, optimize those bottlenecks so uh, and uh, having all that in place would help you to build a really successful mobile, mobile app so i hope the tips and tricks will help you uh, earn money on your mobile app, so good luck and work with professionals.